Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back to the PC Grim Reaper game, uh, computer channel. Um, I always confuse that and say gaming channel, but it's not a gaming channel, it's a computer channel. So, um, yeah, today we've got a computer. Um, it's the computer I unboxed in the last video. This is a Dell Latitude D600, it came out sometime around 2004. And it, uh, originally in that video I stated I was going to run Windows 98 on it, Windows 98 SE on this, which it does run. Um, but there are a few ca caveats and some weird things you have to do to get to actually work properly. So stuff like um, common things that are around 2004 don't work on this. So um, yeah, I'll explain it as we go. But I thought I'd show you some games running on it and some other tests. So um, I'll just explain to you what actually happened to this machine after I made the video. Um, after the video I went through a routine process of trying to test it to get it to get it to turn on. Um, the motherboard originally that was in it was fried, so um, it had some sort of water damage or some liquid damage on it that um, caused the motherboard to not work. So um, I swapped the motherboard, and swapping the motherboard in this machine is not an easy task. Um, it's built kind of like an iPod, meaning there's a mid frame, like um, there's a mid frame in between the um, motherboard and the other side. So you have to sort of like peel it apart if that makes any sense so you have to basically take the entire machine to pieces and then peel, peel the motherboard at the mid frame out and then unscrew it and replace the new motherboard onto it anyway it's a complete nightmare of a thing to do um, I'm not going to show a video of that because that would be unbelievably boring for you so um, other things um, it's got a 128 gig SSD inside it an MSA SSD um, just a cheap one off Amazon and it doesn't need to be amazingly quick but um, it holds the OS and the um, basically the games um, I, did try, I did try and get the PC MCIA card to work as a storage device but the PC MCIA drivers and USB drivers are just not working on the machine I've tried forcing me into I've tried forcing them to, to, to basically update drivers it's just not going to happen until I find a way to actually get to work um, I'll keep you updated but I'm not really hopeful um, I might try on a serial mouse for this thing because it does have a serial port on the back. Um, other things, oh yeah, I'm also going to link the resources I use to get this machine to work because it is a whole task trying to get Windows 98 to run this machine. So yeah, I'm just going to give you a brief boo up just to show you what it actually looks like running Windows 98. Uh, there is another thing with this machine. Um, for some reason, I think I must have put it back together incorrectly. Because every time you move it, like um, sometimes, not all the time, every time I try and move this machine, it will just power off for no reason. I don't know what that is, but I'll probably diagnose it and try and fix it. Um, so yeah, um, it might be because I actually reused the power supply board from the original laptop. So uh, yeah, that might be it. So I'll just show you doing up. I'll give you a look inside the BIOS as well. Just to uh, satisfy some curiosity if you're interested. So, we'll try for that to load up and then we'll see what's inside the BIOS. And you can see everything's um, legit. So, it's running a Pentium M uh, CPU, which is um, mainly what I wanted for Windows. Okay, so there we are. As you can see, Pentium M at 1.70 gigahertz. Um, it does give me a few weird issues with some games, like um, Halo, it gave me a warning about the CPU not being quick enough, um, which is completely understandable. The original Xbox hardware came with, uh, I think it was a, it was some sort of hodgepodge to get of a Pentium 3 they used for the original Xbox, so yeah. Uh, the sound chip is a Sigmatel uh, 9750, um, I have actually got the sound drivers working for that, so yeah, and as you see, if you do anything weird with it, it will just turn off, as I mentioned before, which is fun. So, we'll get into the BIOS again, and then we'll see what happens. But, yeah, sometimes if you just touch it or flick it or something, it will just turn off. I don't know if that's a problem with the power supply board I've got inside it now. I might have to buy a replacement, but anyway. So, yeah. Uh, oh, and an interesting fact. This has been through two motherboards because someone tried to scam me. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted. Go back. Okay, we just 
go into Windows. Um, I'll show you the BIOS later because it's just going to be annoying anyway. So yeah, we'll just get into Windows 98 and I'll show you what it actually looks like. But other things, other notable things, it has an ATI Radeon 9800, not 9000, not 9800. ATI Radeon, Mobility Radeon 9800. Sorry, that's a mouthful. Okay, so I'll just show you this booting up. Check this in frame, here it is. Okay. As you can hear, the glorious sound of Windows 98. So, um, we're just going to test a couple of games. I'm going to show you the demo loop for um, Far Cry because it won't actually run the game. Um, I don't know what it is. Every time I try and load into it, it just crashes and will nuke back to the desktop. So, um, I don't know what it is. Um, but, I think it might be a RAM issue. I do have another stick of 512 I can put inside this and see if it runs. But... We'll see. I'll put turn the volume down a bit because this game's demo loop is loud. I'll show you. I'll show you it running Halo and um, Far Cry as well, just so you can get an experience for what this can actually do. So, just plug the uh, DVD of you. Oh, and by the way, um, this machine is really weird with drivers. Um, the DVD RW stopped working halfway through me trying to get the drivers installed. Um, you have to go into the uh, properties of the uh, device manager and mess with some values and then it will work just fine. I'm actually going to leave all the resources I used to get this machine to work in the description. So you, if, if you get one of these and you want to try this, I would highly recommend against it because it's annoying. But if you really are determined, you can get some things to work on it. The only things I haven't been able to get to work on it are the USB and the PCM CIA drivers. That's all, so um, yeah, apart from that, and uh, one other weird thing with this machine, the volume keys don't work, so um, yeah, you just have to tab out the game and then just mess with the sound settings that way, or use headphones, um, but I haven't really tested it yet, so we'll let it go for the demo loop and you'll see how it can actually run the effects in this game, because this is, um, I don't know if this is one of the first, one of the first one of the first CryEngine games, uh, which is the engine behind Half, uh, not Half Life, Crisis, Crisis. It's originally got a remaster. So, I'll let it run through the demo loop, and you can see what it can do. So, as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. The ATI Mobility Radeon Radeon 9000 does quite a good job of um, creating these effects, but. You can notice a few dips in the frames. It does start every now and again. Another thing I notice is, if you pay really close attention to the trees in this game, you'll notice some tessellation, some sort of artifacting on the sides of the screen. Um, I don't know if tessellation is the right word. Artifacting on the sides of the trees. So you'll you'll be able to see like um, mosquito noise on the side of the trees. Um, as it gets into this forest section, it does frame dip quite a lot. So. Yeah, we'll let it run through this and you can see what, how it performs. But, considering this game came out in 2000 and... Oh, when did this come out? Let me just get, grab the game case so uh, I can actually get the reference of when this came out. Okay, this came out in 2004. Around the same time my laptop came out. So, yeah. The CPU shouldn't be the problem. Because the CPU is one gigahertz, it just gives me some weird issues. Um, I don't know if this, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. The fact that the uh, graphics chip can actually do this is quite impressive. So yeah. Um, other games I plan to run it. Um, stuff like the original Doom. Doom 2, um, just some older 98 stuff, I'm not really looking for any really intense XP games for this, because I don't understand why this game won't run properly, um, every time I, I try to get to actually load into the game it just crashes out, so I don't know what that is. So I think we did a full loop.
because it goes past this second rock here, it's a full loop. Yes, I think anyway. And yeah, we're just on the full loop. So as you can see, it doesn't have trouble running the effects in this game. Um, I think that might be down to I don't know if the the um, the graphics chip in this machine shares any RAM with the actual computer. Like um, I have a motherboard that shares RAM with the GPU. So yeah. Okay, so we'll just quit out of this. I'll actually show you what it does when you try and load it. So, try it on that. Okay, I'll try and skip it. And now it's frozen. And when I try and click it again, it will not, it will just crash out to the uh, OS. So, if I show you, again, crashed out to the OS. So, I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, it could be just something to do with the way I'm loading it or something else, but I don't know. Um, I'll just quickly show you what Half-Life looks like because it runs Half-Life quite well, funny enough. Um, which I'd expect it to do because Half-Life isn't a really intense game to run. It was impressive visually when it came out back in... Uh, I can't actually remember. Let me just uh, check the game case here. Okay. This came out when... It's all that early 2000s, so you shouldn't be having trouble uh, running this. Uh, Halo, it does have a problem running. Um, a lot of the textures just don't work. So stuff like Master visor looks strange. Okay, so I'll just show you what this looks like. I'll go to the hazard course because it's quite a good test. Could try the original CSGO as well. Okay. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of a hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate. Okay, so it's not giving me any stuttering or anything. I should really test it in a more intense environment, like when we're actually fighting uh, the aliens, but just as a precursor, this doesn't seem too bad, to be fair. So we'll just jump out of that, and I'll show you what it looks like on Halo, just because it's weird. It's really weird. Um, if I try and actually collect some older Windows 8 games, I think it will be it will work it won't have a problem with these. But because these games are sort of like um Halo was a bit of a weird game because the original Xbox it was optimized for. They um it's actually a funny story I actually have to tell this one because I don't think a lot of people know this. Um when they were developing the original Xbox, they actually took a lot of Dell Latitudes, um I don't know what model they were. But they Frankenstein them together and they were put in three models and they basically just Frankenstein them together and they made the original prototype for the Xbox, which was just a lot of laptops sort of glued together. So um yeah. Um we'll wait for this to load and we'll see. Okay. It's gonna give me a warning saying that it's not gonna run properly, but if we go in save mode it shouldn't be a problem. Safe mode in the game, not the actual computer. But you'll see. So you gotta load. There we go. See, it gives me a warning. Um considering the original GPU on the Xbox is an NVIDIA GPU, um it's not really surprising, so we'll let this load and then we'll um see what the textures actually look like. Because um I reckon if I put the other 512 stick in this game, in this laptop I mean, it will actually run okay. So, we've actually got up to, up to a separate section where we actually see some uh, aliens, so yeah. 
Apart from that, this machine works as I want it to. Um, any sort of more intense games sort of work on my XP machine. So, well, it's gonna be fun. I try and play this whilst using the camera, which is not fun. So, I don't know if you can see my arms, but anyway. Okay, I think you can see that. Okay, I'm gonna to run towards the enemies and try and shoot some of them. So as you can see, the textures on the elites are a bit broken. I'm not playing with a mouse either. So, the textures on the elite shield is a bit broken. So, and if I just, <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. It will actually give you a close up on the elites. So, we're going through the more intense section. It doesn't run the game too bad, it's just a lot of the textures just don't work. So, as you can see, I don't know if you saw any of that, but i do this one handed, which is going to be impossible. Okay, one handed. Okay. If I show you what some of the textures look like on the um, Marines and the Elites, it just doesn't look right. So I don't know if that's the turn. So as you can see, the uh, textures on the grunts don't look right. Let's go up. You can see it. It just doesn't look right. See? We'll just let him kill us. So you can see it doesn't look right, but that has an optimization thing. But in the cutscenes, it doesn't look right either. Okay. So I think that's a good enough explanatory thing for you to understand what this laptop can actually do. When I do actually get some more games that are sort of Windows 98 era, I will show you what the results are. I do have some other ones I can test. I can try and get a Far Cry one again as well. But just for now, as a test, I think it explains itself. Um, the older titles don't run too bad. Um, I don't know what other games to try. Um, if you have any requests, uh, just leave them down in the uh, comments. So yeah, um, she isn't bad. It's a bit. Uh, it's not. It's not really what I expected. But the fact that it even runs a few of these games is impressive in its own right. So. I'll leave all the resources I had to try and get this machine to run properly and um, all the sort of videos I had to watch to get to get to work, especially a DVD drive, but anyway. Um, yeah, there's nothing really else to explain. I probably will release an update while I try and get that other 512 stick to work in this, because I think that will do a world of good. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.